Hi everybody on YouTube. I am here to do my video introduction and I'll warn you up front that I'm a little nervous about this. I've been watching people on YouTube for the past um, two months while I'm doing my research into gastric bypass and their videos were so helpful. I thought you know, the least I could do is try to give back and also do my own video log and as you know somebody else said this is a great um, opportunity to give myself some accountability um, besides to myself I mean I know I'm accountable to myself but if um, I know other people are having me uh, like weigh in and uh, let them know how I'm doing, then it just seems more of a network and a more of a support group and I think that's what I need. I am going to have a gastric bypass, um, R and Y, blue and Y, sorry, surgery on September 23rd. And my main reason is because of my health. Um, I'm not light, I weigh 230 pounds, um, so I could certainly uh, lose some weight, but I'm not completely uncomfortable with my weight either. I'm okay. I get on TV. Um, you know, I don't really think I have a ton of self-image issues uh, going on. I eat very healthy. Um, I love protein shakes. I eat them regularly. Um, I like vegetables. I like fruits. Um, I do have also a desire for pastries, so that could be a major downfall. But um, now in general, I'm pretty healthy except for diabetes, um, which I inherited from my father. Thank you, Dad. And um, I have been on an insulin pump uh, for the last four years. I was on insulin shots for three years prior to that. And I was on oral medications for 10 years prior to that. So. I'm going on 17 years of diagnosed diabetes. Knowing the symptoms now and looking back, I probably had it for a couple of years prior, uh, before I was even diagnosed. But um, So it's an issue that I've been dealing with for a long time. And really with diabetes, things don't really get better. I've been pretty controlled. Um, my hemoglobin A1Cs are pretty good. I can stay in the six you know, sevens. I can stay in the sevens. Um, and I don't have any, um, you know, knock on wood, any other problems besides uh, high cholesterol. But it's only a matter of time. Diabetes doesn't get better on its own. It's, you know, a matter of time before other things start to happen. And I have a six year old daughter and I want to fix this as much as possible and in my research there's an 87 percent chance that i can get off the insulin and um, even i hope get off the oral medications but even getting off the insulin i will feel blessed um, i would love to completely turn around my diabetes um, so i'm keeping my fingers crossed so while other people are counting down um, their weight, which I will do, I'm going to be counting down um, my medications, hopefully. So, um, the other thing that, the problem that I've had uh, in getting ready for this is my insurance won't cover it. And my husband works for a hospital and I'm insured underneath his plan. But apparently with the policy, they will only cover employees. They will not care their spouses and no letter of medical necessity or anything like that that I tried to present worked. So uh, they wanted basically about $24,000, which we don't have. Um, if anybody does have that and wants to hand it out, <laughs> I'll take it, but um, we don't have it. So I looked at um, medical tourism and overseas doctors. And I was um, researching several and narrowed it down to Dr. Hoya, who is in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Um, basically, I found two good doctors, um, Dr. Hoya and another doctor out of Bogota, Colombia, 
who were my top two choices mm -hmm. and they both had great references I couldn't find anything um, bad about them online um, they both had their own uh, basically insurance coverage so if anything goes wrong um, you're covered while you're there um, a lot of the other medical tourism companies didn't mention that didn't have that um, and I want to know that if uh, there's a complication while I'm on the table or afterwards while I'm down in their country that um, medically I'm taken care of without um, you know my family going broke so I had narrowed it down to those two doctors and um, ended up just to be a location thing I would much rather spend two weeks in Puerto Vallarta than Bogota Colombia nothing against either one um, but uh, just on the ocean sounded so much better and we were able to trade in our timeshare for a couple weeks at the Cristal which is the hotel they use so rather than having to stay in the hotel we'll have our own private villa um, thanks to our timeshare and um, I'm gonna go down with my family my husband and my daughter and we're really I'm looking forward to it I'm nervous um, not sure who's more nervous myself or my husband but, um, and we haven't really told my daughter yet. We told her that, you know, mommy's going to see a doctor while we're down in Mexico. But really haven't said anything else to her because we don't need her panicking and worrying for a month prior. Um, it is the 31st of August and I get to start my pre-up diet in six days. Not really looking forward to that. I am kind of have accepted the fact I'll won't be eating solid food for a long time after the surgery um, but my understanding is you know the pouch is so small you're not hungry and you don't want that um, I'm thinking um, that prior to surgery I'm gonna be hungry I can't see just drinking those liquids all day long and that um, limited amount of food and not being hungry so um, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to that part of it. <laughs> I've had my gallbladder out before, so I think I ha and it was laparoscopically, so I think I have a feeling of, you know, what I'm going to be going through at the hospital. Um, I've done two other videos to show everybody things that I prepared for this surgery, but I just want to do a couple minutes of introduction so that, um, you know, I can get it on YouTube and hopefully... Uh, start developing that network that I think um, is out there and that I may need for support in the future. So, um, well, thankfully, uh, one of the people that I had seen who had a previous surgery with Dr. Hoya um, had gone onto my, I had seen her videos and she had gone into my account and saw my video date or the date of my surgery on my YouTube account and actually hooked me up with a friend of hers from Canada who is going to be going down there. So we have been emailing back and forth. Um, you know, I'm in the US and she's in Canada, but she's having surgery the exact same day I am. So I'm gonna know somebody before I get there. So that's pretty exciting. Um, so thank you for watching YouTubers. Um, if you wanna subscribe, go ahead. Uh, my next video will probably be sometime during my pre-op diet when I am starving to death. So, that'll be a lot of fun. Thanks.